Hey y'all, so I am just, okay. I like pink curl my hair or whatever. I need to, I can't really even see what I'm doing. But um, yeah, I just pink curl my hair cause I was getting ready to film a video. What time is it? It's five o'clock. I have a wax appointment at seven. But, um, ouch. You know how, like, when you pin your hair and you, like, catch a little another piece of hair just kind of, like, off guard? Yeah. Almost just ripped my shit out. But here's what she's looking like. Um, it's in pink curl for, like, my hair is so long. Look how long my hair is. Like, boom. Down to the waist, baby. Okay, yeah, my hair is, like, I don't know. Let me just run it down. So I straightened my hair to go get my, um, this looks good. I'm glad I like pink curled it. But um, I straightened my hair to go get my address changed on my license. I had to go to DMV, right? Girl, first of all, why I go to the DMV and they was like, oh, you don't need, like, we don't accept the documents that you brought. And I'm like, but this is what they said to bring on the website. So then she like broke it down to me and I was like, okay, I feel like I'll be in Patty, but I'll be back. So now I have to wait like a whole nother freaking month just to um just to get my address changed on my license to be able to get a parking pass where i live how long have i been here mm, let's not talk about it but yeah i basically tried to go get a parking pass the first time and they were like oh well your address needs to say like you live here for you to get a parking pass and i'm like that's petty but okay let me do that she gave me like a couple months extension and i was like, all right bet i'm gonna just I don't know, I'm gonna figure it out. But this was literally at the beginning of Miss Rona. And she, yeah, she gave me an extension until June, June 30th. Baby, it's like July 30th at this point. I finally was able to get an appointment at the DMV because they have been closed since Corona started. And then they started doing appointments, which is like a whole month out. Sorry, my camera is like really quicker right now. But, um, they started doing appointments like a whole month out from when you book it and good luck on even getting an appointment because like you refresh the page and all of them are freaking gone so it was just a mess and then one random day i logged on and they had like two appointments i tried to book one it was like for 3 30 and when i was checking out it was like oh someone already snagged this appointment you have to pick another one and i was like what the heck like people are really going in so boom um finally went finally got my appointment i booked it like a month and some days before it actually was like you know uh, like it was actually scheduled so then the day comes i straighten my hair i'm trying to i even was like filming a video on how to get the perfect id photo because you know i was really my past id photo is a little janky baby okay it's real ugly i didn't know nothing about makeup my hair was a totally different color like i just look like a different person so i'm like let me just give it all like let me give it to him for real and let him know who kayla cake is in this show so i pull up looking cute or whatever and then it it just the sky broke and it just started pouring and when i tell you it wasn't even just like pouring it was like it was like a hurricane <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh. So I'm, I am I kind of like parked far because there was a line too. There was a line like outside of the door. Um, so I waited to the last minute. My appointment was in like three minutes. I was waiting in my car. My appointment was three minutes and then I just got out and I booked it. And I had like a, I had brought a little plaid shirt cause I know it'd be like cold up in there and stuff. So I brought me a little plaid shirt I put that on my head you I think I brought, yeah I think I would have put the footage in here somewhere but yeah I put it on my head and I ran <laughs> and my hair still got wet still got a little poofy so I was in there looking crazy and that was just God telling me like girl you look crazy so I'm gonna just I'm gonna tell these people just don't accept your things and you can just go home and try this all over again in a month and that's what she said she said girl we don't accept this and I was like oh but they said this on the website she was like well won't accept it and i was like okay but whatever so yeah um now try not to get told in this joint because 
I mean, clearly I live here, right? So hopefully I don't get towed. I mean, they haven't told me th this whole time because my parking, my temporary parking pass has been up for like a month and I haven't gotten towed yet. So hopefully I don't get towed. Um, but yeah. All right, y'all, so I'm getting ready to head to my wax appointment. I'm gonna take this wax stick and just my hair just about to be in a ponytail for like however long it's straight because this is too much like my hair literally look at this i literally curled and pin curled my hair for nothing like when i tell you my hair does not hold a curl so yeah i didn't end up filming because i'm like that's dumb like your hair is going to be bone straight by the end of the video so just hang it up sis and then you can do I don't know something another day but yeah I just took some pictures they're really cute by the way ouch I'm gonna post them tomorrow but I'll post it in this vlog because you this is going up like after those pictures I'm gonna get my kitchen too girl she's looking a little crazy I'm wearing this skim shirt and I feel like you can see it's not hair but like my underarms are so freaking dark I need to start waxing them again because I just want it to look like a smooth transition, okay? I'm over the dark underarms. Especially because Kim got this freaking mesh stuff, like, really popping off. And they be coming out with some cute mesh, like, styles and stuff. And I just can't have my underarms looking quite firm. So, yeah. I'm trying to put my hair in a nice little slick ponytail. I don't know why, child. I'm literally just going to go get my my sis waxed but i don't know i'm just crazy and obsessed and i just like wasting time and i like being late clearly because what am i doing wasting time so i'm about to do my nails i just took the polish off filed them i think they're a pretty good shape um I was still kind of working on it. So I'm going to be using the Madame Glam Grassy Sassy Gel Polish. As you guys know, I don't have my long nails anymore. Focus. I don't have my long nails anymore. So gel polish it is. And I've really been feeling the short nails. I don't know. I kind of want to go back to long nails. But the short nails have been giving, giving it to me lately. This one is Dusty Coral. It is so pretty. I would use this. But the outfit that I'm going to wear today has green shoes so i'm gonna do the green plus i've been itching to do green nails like this color green is so just y'all know my favorite color is green so they also sent over their um base and top coat which is actually really pretty good so i'm gonna be using this oh and they also sent me this little mini like um nail lamp that i thought was so cute like look how small it is it's so compact so i can definitely bring this with me like on the go if i need to i'm trying to clean up my cuticle area i got these little nippers from amazon they're actually really pretty good um in my opinion so i'm just like cleaning up my cuticle area to make sure like there's no lifting so to clean up my cuticles i'm going to use this little ceramic drill bit See, so yeah, I don't know if I could tell, but it's just much more cleaner around the cuticle area as opposed to these. If it'll focus. Yeah, so I'm really just trying to get like this white stuff off, which is dead skin. And I'm doing it really lightly too. Like I'm not digging into my nail at all. I learned that with like drilling and stuff, you really have to be light handed unless you're trying to make like a, you know, like a dent or something. But if you're really just trying to file something away, like light handed is the best. So to prep, I use the Mia Secret Dehydrator and then I also use the Mia Secret Extra Bond just to make sure that it lasts as long as possible.
all right hey y'all um all right on my way to we're well, not on my way but about to be on my way to ikea i'm putting gel in my hair while it's straight which i would never do but um i'm about to wash it anyway so it really don't matter um but yeah i'm about to go to ikea to pick out um a storage system that i need kind of like a decor piece low key but just something to like fill this space but it's i want it to also be like for storage so i'm going to do that and then um i also need to get shelves for my closet because if you don't know now you know basically i started my closet i didn't get everything i needed for it because i didn't want to overbuy, and i ended up under buying like the shelves for the little system that i put my shoes in so i'm gonna go get some more it's one of like the it's like the smallest the tallest but skinniest packs piece like you know the pack system so it's like the tallest one they have but it's the um like the skinniest and like smallest one they have out of the tall ones <laughs> this is what i'm wearing i'm wearing this like little tupac shirt and this skirt from like years ago i think it's from pre little thing or something like that and i also have on some shorts under here because you know you got to control all the all that ain't so boom <laughs> And I'm probably just gonna wear some black flats because. I like how they set up all their stuff. It just looks so like real. <laughs> like this is so cute. Yeah, good. Ooh, is this the closet? No, this is the bathroom. This is cute. Look at the little toilet. Who are these people? This chair is nice for like outside, but for two hundred dollars, I don't know about all that. Their chairs really be ugly though. Like I'm not even gonna front. <laughs> like there's nothing in here that looks nice. Cause I actually want a chair for for me to sit in to film, but it also needs to go with my room. So yeah, I don't know. None of these is really giving me like nothing at all. I mean that one's cool, but it's probably like a million dollars. How much is it? 160, 159. My issue is like chairs be too low. Like I don't understand why they be so low. So I actually have a dining room chair. It looks like a very casual chill chair, but I have a dining room chair as the chair that I film in because I feel like all the bedroom chairs and stuff are just so low. Like the legs be this little. Found it. It's over here. Ooh, five hundred dollars. Okay. So yeah, here's the cabinet, and let me see what. I don't really want to touch it, but I got hand sanitizer, so it's cool. It's kind of big at the bottom. And they got like little storage boxes and shit. I like the little sliding door. This is the smaller one, but I was gonna get it in like white, but it'll be this one. So yeah, three sixty, and I need two. So, y'all, Ikea have been having so much new stuff, but look at this big ass, I don't know what, is this considered a birds of paradise? Look how big it is. Like, Jesus, you can't even tell. I don't know how much it is, though. Oh, it's $100. This thing is humongous. Like, I can't even reach the top. It's so pretty, though, and I think you can adjust these things to, like, the way you want it. Yeah, they had a bunch of new stuff. Focus on me. Hello? Anyways, they had a bunch of new stuff in here, so that was good to know. It's not like the same like old IKEA looking stuff. You know what I mean? Like little basics. But they had some really cool stuff. They had new colorways and stuff. So okay, they was working this quarantine. But I'm about to go over to this little computer area and like type in the shelves that I need so that they can bring them out. Oh, here we go. Right here, I need. New shopping bag. Oh no, some of the articles are not in stock. 
Wait, huh? All right, y'all, I was only able to get two because that's all they had in stock. And she said they were going to get some more on Tuesday. But I was like, girl, just give me what you got right now. And all they had was two. So I'm going to put these up and then try to, like, I don't know, do something with my shoes. It's probably not going to be much progress, but we'll see. All right, so as y'all know, I have these right here. My heels kind of come like all the way up here. And then what is this? Like, what is this? So yeah, I kept them in the box only because they're easy to stack. And then <laughs> I threw my sweatshirts up there because I don't know why I did that, honestly. They don't belong up there. So I'm gonna take those down and I need to find a home for my sweatshirts. I actually don't have one. They just kind of are where they are. I'm um, gonna have other shoes up here too, which is like literally so crazy. That's a sweater. But yeah, other shoes, there's literally nothing in that box, I don't think. So yeah, I also have another shelf that goes in here, but I only have two of the things that go in these little holes on the end. I can't find the other two. So this shelf is pretty much useless. So yeah, pretty much almost done with this closet. It is taking me forever because I can't figure out exactly what I want. And I also like keep getting clothes in and keep getting, you know, packages sent and I keep ordering stuff and it's just like, girl, okay, so the, the plan you had is just not going to work for all this shit that you were getting in the mail, sis. Like, that's just not going to happen. So now I have to figure out, like over here, there's like a ironing board and like storage stuff. There's like the mirror that's supposed to go in the bathroom that needs to be installed in the bathroom. Okay, like what? <laughs> And my towels are also over there too, which I actually don't mind being in here, but they were actually originally supposed to go like in the closet. That's like when you right come out of the bathroom, there's a closet there and it's deep, it's big, it has a big like closet rod space, which I'm keeping like my coats. Right now, all of my dresses are in there. So it's a mess, like it's a freaking mess. But there's some shelves in that closet that technically is where it's supposed to be like the linen closet. But I use that for like toilet paper and paper towels, especially because of Corona, like I'm literally stocked. Like all the shelves are filled with paper towels and stuff like that and laundry detergent and all that type of stuff. So like stuff is just everywhere and I just can't girl. I need a bigger space. Like I'm just, I'm over it already. I'm over it. I really want to move, but we're going to get there. We are going to get there, but we're going to get organized first. Like I got to figure out how to freaking organize. I literally gave away so many clothes. I sold so many clothes. You guys, Poshmark fam, y'all lit. Okay. I love y'all. Um, and I just need to get it together. I'm going to get it together though. So whew, I'm over here talking to myself, like telling myself, girl, just breathe, get it together. Like it's going to be okay. Hey y'all, so I'm actually editing this video right now and so hey for the future, but I wanted to tell y'all about why I want to move because I was talking about this on my Instagram and I was like, I would literally rather be homeless at this point because girl, I'm so sick and tired of where I'm at. Like I'm so sick and tired. Sorry, my room is a mess. I'm a human being. So yeah, I was telling this story like when I was on my way somewhere in my car, but you could literally just hear my car. <laughs> like you could barely hear me. So I wanted to just refilm it and tell y'all what the heck has been going on. It's been a couple of situations with some people in the neighborhood and girl, <laughs> it's girl. Okay. So situation number one so i don't know if y'all know but i did tell you on my instagram story that dallas did get attacked by another dog in my neighborhood hmm i know so sad but he's he's good y'all like dallas when i tell y'all like right after it he was like smiling happy like trying to play he is just so like high spirited he's always so happy so excited so just like he's just a happy dog okay so yeah basically long story short dallas has come across this dog a couple of times like not even a couple like a lot because 
I pretty much know everyone that has a dog in this neighborhood because you know when you see another person with a dog you want your dog to like come meet up and say hey and it's a good way to like socialize your dog and stuff like that so this dog which was a pit bull I'm not going to like criminalize all pit bulls and stuff like that like a lot of people try to do and make them seem like aggressive and all this yes they may be aggressive but who makes them aggressive the owner so the first time Dallas ever was allowed outside you guys know like he didn't have all of his shots when I first got him so it he could go outside but it, he just if he ate something off the ground or something like that like it would probably mess him up so that's why he wasn't really allowed outside so the first time he was allowed outside the first dog he met literally the first dog he met was um what are y'all looking at He tried to like stare at me, but didn't like look away because I was staring at him. And then he just like looked back like, is she still staring? Yeah, I'm staring at you because you staring at me. So what's up? So yeah, that was the first dog Dallas ever met. And they were cool around each other. Like they were just sniffing each other's butts and stuff, you know. So, you know, over the course of a couple of months and stuff, you know, they would see each other. They would just come towards each other and like sniff each other's butts and stuff. And like just check each other out. Like, girl, what's up? What you been up to? da da da, -da this time they were coming up to each other or whatever and the dog literally just charged at dallas and lashed onto his neck and bit him up scratched him up dallas had puncture wounds in his neck so crazy so the owner of the other dog tried to like break them up and stuff and he actually ended up getting bit up pretty bad um and also his wife and daughter were on the walk with him too and they were just like across the street screaming so um yeah he all they pretty much had to say was like i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry like um if you take him to the vet uh we're gonna pay for everything like we're so sorry like we're so embarrassed we're so sorry and also i never saw them to be like aggressive people they've always been super nice to me um like always even when like their son was walking the dog like he was just super nice like they're not mean people they're not aggressive people so i didn't really like um you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not going to say like, oh, they train their pit bull to be aggressive because like, no, I don't think that at all. I think it was just kind of like pit bull woke up on the wrong side of the crate this morning and he just wasn't having it. He was just not having a good day. So, yeah, basically all they could say was for the next like literally two hours, we'll pay for what we pay for. You try to get one word out, they interrupt and we'll, we'll pay for it. We're sorry. Da -da -da. Okay. Okay, cool. They went back to their place maybe like a couple minutes like 30 minutes later the husband was knocking on the door still saying we're so sorry like i felt like i had to come back and say i'm sorry again because like we're so embarrassed we never expected this to happen and just please we'll pay for it. we'll pay for it as long as you don't report us as long as you don't tell the front office as long as you don't snitch basically so me i'm like i don't even really want to report y'all in the first place i mean most people would but me knowing me i am an animal lover i love animals i literally would have a zoo if someone would let me so i literally adore animals i could not even imagine somebody like if dallas woke up on the wrong side of the bed and then he decided to go jump on a dog and then someone reporting my reporting dallas me knowing dallas me knowing dallas is the sweetest thing in the world and he just jumped on the dog like you know what i'm saying and then they report him and then they take him from me and then they put him down just because he did one aggressive act like oh my god i would never sleep i would cry my eyes out like no so i didn't even want to do that to them because i'm an animal lover y'all like i am a sucker for animals I'm just not that person y'all so I wasn't gonna report them anyways but the fact that they said they're gonna pay for it I was like okay bet like so I took Dallas to the uh, emergency room and they had to shave him down and there was so much more so much more like trauma than I even saw because you know he's a dog he has fur so when they shaved him down you could see the two puncture marks on his neck clear as day but there was like scratches in other places there was also a puncture 
wound on the back of his neck as well it was only one so i don't know if he just latched one tooth back there and he had scratches all on his legs and like stuff like that oh my god it was like traumatic for real so took the bill to homeboy and he was like bad okay like i'm you know we're so sorry again like we're embarrassed we're gonna pay for it okay you said that a million times okay you said it a million times so now i feel like you really gonna pay me so a couple of days go by homeboy pulls up with a check i'm like okay bad cool like the vet visit was like 230 something dollars meanwhile just to walk into that joint was a hundred dollars and then to shave him down and to clean his wounds and to give him antibiotics and stuff was like the extra 130 40 or something dollars girl vets are expensive don't get it all please okay so um he pulls up with a check right and he's like look this is half um we don't have the whole two something it was like it was like a little under 250 so you know it's cool like we all been there you know maybe you just paid all your bills and stuff or maybe you i don't know i don't know what you got going on but i'm not gonna judge you sweetie because girl we all been there so he then says don't cash it until friday because there's no money in that account look i'm not i'm still not judging i am still not judging because we have all been there okay like but granted i was in college when i was there but i'm not gonna judge though i'm not gonna judge i ain't gonna judge so i think it was like tuesday when i tried to cash it or something like that just to give him a little time you know sometimes they be holding your money over the weekend you know i don't know what bank he got but you know uh, y'all know so waited till tuesday and try to cash it it bounced okay so you ain't even got a hundred dollars in this junk like what is going on because you just said you get paid on friday and that's why you told me not to cash it till friday where do you work so at this point i'm just like you know what i feel like i'm being played i feel like i'm being tried like somebody is really trying me so a couple days go by because child i'm busy and I have not, mind you, I have not seen this man at all. Like, he do not walk past this, like, walk past my area at all. Like, he must take a totally different route to walk his dog now. I see him all the time. I never see him, ever. Like, ever. Like, they're avoiding this area, which, shit, you should be. I'll be scared, too, if I didn't have no money, but I promised somebody I was going to pay their vet bill because my dog attacked them. So, finally run down on him. And he's like, oh my God, I'm so sorry, da 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 I'm like, yeah, okay, blah, blah, blah. He's like, I'm gonna give you cash or like a money order in the next couple of days. Okay, cool, bet, cool. Finally, some guaranteed money because no, you didn't give me no bad check. Like, what the hell? For a hundred, you only gave me a check for half though. Like, what? But I'm not judging, I'm not judging i'm judging but i'm not judging it's been a couple of days no word from him at all and i'm just like you know what i'm really trying to be nice i'm really trying to be nice because now i do want to report you and it's killing me because i know they might take their dog from him and i know they might put the dog down because the dog is now deemed aggressive but like you're playing with me <laughs> like you play with me so yeah, um, it's been a couple days since he said he was going to get a money order or the cash. So I guess he just waiting, child. It is Friday today, so maybe he gets paid today. I don't know. Um, but we'll see. But y'all, let's get into situation number two. Guess what we have on our hands? A Karen. Okay, so where should I even start about Karen's ass? So the first incident, because there's two. The first incident, the second one is wild, but the first one is like even more wild. Okay, so I'll take a Dallas out to use the bathroom like at the end of the day. So as you guys know, Dallas has like evening walks, but even after that, he still goes out to the bathroom like right before bed. And I usually go to bed at like, I usually put him up at like maybe 1130 or so. So it was around that time. It was late. Um, and yeah, so he was just casually using the bathroom kind of like farther down like there's like a large it's not a, like a large field but there's like two field i don't know he was using the bathroom so yeah just waiting for him to kind of figure out a good spot where he could you know do number two because 
dogs be picky sometimes like they just be trying to make sure it's the right spot to go so if you have a dog you know and he's sniffing around just exploring um you know one little last hoorah before he goes to bed so I'm waiting on him to use the bathroom and I'm like, I feel like somebody's watching me. But you know, sometimes I'd be a little paranoid. So I was just like, girl, you tripping? Like, whatever. The feeling would not stop. Like, I was like, no, somebody is watching me. So I started to look around, you know, trying to stay aware of my surroundings and stuff. Trying to stay woke, girl. Guess who's standing in the bushes staring at me? Karen. So, well, Karen and her dog. We gonna name the dog Ratatouille. So, yes, Karen and Ratatouille are standing in the bushes, literally behind a tree, staring at me in Dallas. What are you doing? Like, what What are you doing? I can understand you're out here trying to walk your dog and stuff, but walk the dog, girl. Like, why are you just standing there staring at me? I kept trying to, like, look back to see if she would disappear, but she was literally just standing there with her dog in her hands. Meanwhile, you're supposed to be walking your dog. You're carrying the dog. Um... She's just standing there staring at me for a good like five minutes. So I'm like, okay, this is weird. So Dallas, he wouldn't poop in that area. So usually when that happens, just walk him just a little bit further down to another little patch of grass and he will, you know, assess the situation and then do what he gotta do. So he wasn't pooping, so walked him down or whatever to another patch of grass. So the second time I turned around to check again if she was still following me, she was literally in between cars looking at me, like walking, literally in between two cars looking at me. What are you doing? What makes you think this is not creepy? What makes you think this is normal? So we get to the next patch of grass or whatever and she stops too she just stops and she's staring so i'm like you know what you know what she's now in between another set of two cars so i'm just like you know what this is like crazy right now so in my head i'm just like girl whatever you with i'm with because at this point you acting a little crazy so if you want to get it in we can really get it in sis like i'm ready it's late i'm tired i'm over the day like i'm ready for tomorrow and you really trying me you're finna get it bitch so she just oh my god so dallas finishes using the bathroom and you know pick up his poop throw it away and i turn around to go back the way i came because that's the way i came so she also turns around and starts walking forward so she was following me this way dallas poops so i turn around and i start going back the way so she turns around and now she's in front of me right so I'm walking kind of fast because like I said, girl, it's 1130. I'm tired. Let's go to bed, girl. Okay. So I'm getting closer, closer. And she's, you know, just taking her sweet little time. And I look down at Dallas and he's just like loving life. And then she disappeared. So I'm like, okay, cool. She probably just like went her about her business basically. But no, sis, she didn't. So <laughs> she stops right here, right? She's in between some more cars but she's on the sidewalk and I'm in the street. So the street is right here, cars are parked here, and the sidewalk is here. So she's on the sidewalk, I'm on the street, so I'm walking like this and all I hear is a sound and it's like a like a little noise, like trying to get either me, my attention or Dallas's attention, I don't know. First of all, don't at my dog, baby girl. And number two, don't at me. Like, who are you talking to? So, I turn and I look and she's just standing there with her dog in her hand. Ratatouille is just like, girl, I want to go home. Like, why are you bothering these people? And she's just standing there staring at me. And I'm walking Dallas and I'm looking at her. Me and Dallas looking at her like, what you want to do? What do you want to do? Because we with the shit, okay? Like, we with it all the way. So I'm rolling my eyes. I'm sucking my teeth. I'm like, I'm not saying nothing, but I'm giving her that energy. Like, do you want to do something or not? Like, what you want to do? So that was just the first interaction. Yes, that was it. I just ended up walking back home, coming in here and just not even really believing that that joint just happened. Like, why are you following me? But okay. So the second situation, y'all, even worse. So just chilling in the house, right? Minding my black owned business. And she, she is something else. She's really something else. 
so where my like back door is it's kind of like a little side door but you can see like people walking on the sidewalk you can see the street from the door like all of that and it's like a really big just window where dallas sits and he people watches so i hear him kind of like getting a little giddy and like i can hear his tail like beating the floor because he's like you know when dogs go like this and they just be hitting the floor on accident like with their tail so i hear his tail like beating up the floor and he's getting a little like excited and when he gets excited he kind of like he doesn't bark but he makes like little noises or whatever so after like a couple minutes of that i'm like why hasn't he calmed down yet like usually he would just kind of do that if someone I don't know just walks past real quick but he'll stop after they're gone so he just keeps doing it and keeps doing it after a couple not a couple minutes it seemed like a couple minutes because it seemed like forever but it was probably like a good i don't know too daggone long so got up went to check to see what the heck he was like all excited about guess whose dog was on the porch Karen's dog was on the daggone porch, y'all. And guess what? The dog was on the leash. Ratatouille was on a leash. Guess who was holding the leash? Karen. Guess who was standing in the yard? Karen. What is wrong with you? Like, I really hope you watch this because I really want you to feel crazy as shit. Like, I literally just don't understand what thought process goes through people's minds. Like, at this point, you're in my yard. Your dog is on my property. Like, do you want to fight or what? Like, what is happening? Like, are you pulling up? Like, cause what? She got one more time. She got one more time because after that, I haven't really seen her that much, like at all. Um, and then when I do see her, like she immediately picks up her dog and acts like she's scared or some. Like, girl, Dallas is not worried about you. He hasn't even noticed you, sweetie. And ain't nobody worried about your little dog. Like, come on now. Bye. Before I report her, though, I want to catch her ass on candid camera. Like, I want to catch her ass on video on my phone. Didn't record the second situation. In the first situation, it was too dark outside, so you wasn't going to be able to see her no ways. Um, and she was ducked off in between cars. So it's like, what? It, what? You can't catch that on camera. So, um, yeah. I'm waiting to catch her ass because before I report because girl you gotta come with evidence dealing with these Karen's child so woo, we gonna see um I'm just I'm really ready to set it off like she's really trying me so yeah sorry this part was so long the sun is really messing up my my vibe but I really had to vent to y'all and it's just it's really like mmm I'm pissed <laughs> Just thinking about it, I'm pissed.
okay y'all i'm kind of in a rush but this is what i'm wearing it's like this like blue top i don't know i have my hair in these two little things i thought it was cute um i turned a jumpsuit into some biker shorts and i am wearing these heels so i'll try to post a picture oh and i'm wearing this purse i'll try to post a picture on my instagram we'll see how that works out if not i'll put it on tomorrow and take another picture so but i will see y'all i'll probably like vlog and stuff there but on my phone at the restaurant so Okay y'all, so I'm back home and yeah, had a really good time with my friends. Um, going out for my best friend's birthday, ouch, a little nap on the side. Going out for my best friend's 25th birthday. She's the youngest of the group, so now we're all 25. And yeah, it's like I'm feeling it, I'm loving it. Um, We were talking about what we gonna do for my birthday. I kinda wanna do like a little boat situation, but we'll see, we gonna see. Um, But yeah, so, I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. I'm so tired. I did not get a picture of my outfit. So I'm gonna put it on tomorrow and I'm gonna take a picture, period. Um, Y'all know how I go, y'all know how it goes. So yeah, I'm just gonna um, end the vlog here. And girl, lay down, I'm so tired. I'm really tired. Dallas was just acting all crazy when I walked in. He was like, oh my God, girl, where you been? He's like, oh my God, and he was just going crazy, so. Woo. I'm gonna see y'all in the next video. I really hope y'all enjoyed this vlog. I really don't even know what footage I got because I'm in the midst of filming something else, you know? So like I have all these footage footages that I need to separate. So I really don't know what footage I got for this vlog, but hopefully it's a good one, girl. I don't know, we finna watch it together at this point. So I love y'all. I'll see y'all in my next video. Peace.